Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the lacette stitch, which you can see here in front of you. This is a, obviously a very lacy and open worked crochet stitch, similar on the front and on the back. It's going to work up very quickly and of course not use as much yarn. It's made primarily of single crochet, double crochet, and chain stitches. So it's a fairly easy one to work up once you get it going. Today I'm going to be using a paint box yarn called Cotton Aran, as well as a 5mm crochet hook. And links to both of these items can be found in the description of this video. As well in the description you'll find a direct link to the free written and photo tutorial for this crochet stitch. Thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe. Take a look around. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. And uh, once you've tried this stitch, I'd love to hear how you would use it in a pattern. And you can leave that in the comments below. Our stitch tutorial today is worked in rows. So you're going to start by making your slip knot and then by chaining a foundation chain and your foundation chain will need to have a multiple of six stitches plus seven. So today I'm going to begin by chaining 31. There's 10. Twenty. Twenty-seven, thirty, and thirty-one. Once you have your foundation chain the desired length, you're going to begin by working a single crochet stitch into the tenth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and into that tenth chain work one single crochet. Chain 3, skip the next two chains and work a double crochet stitch into the next. Chain 3, skip the next two chains and single crochet into the next. You're now going to repeat all the way across. Chain 3, skip 2, and double crochet into the next stitch. Chain 3, skip 2, and single crochet. Repeat that all the way across, ending with a double crochet into your final stitch. the end of your row one you're going to chain eight and turn your work for row two after you've chained eight and turned your work you're going to skip the next chain three space the single crochet and the next chain three and work a double crochet into your double crochet stitch. Chain, uh, sorry, chain five and double crochet into the next double crochet stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain 5, uh, 
and double crochet into the next double crochet stitch. When you come to your final space, you're going to work your final double crochet stitch into the fourth chain of that starting chain. So count one, two, three, four into that fourth chain, work your final double crochet stitch. And that brings you to the end of your row two. For row three, you're going to chain five and turn your work. Next, you're going to single crochet into the third chain of that chain five space. So count in one, two, three. Into that third chain, work a single crochet stitch. chain three and double crochet into the next double crochet stitch. Chain three, single crochet into the third chain of your chain five and repeat. Chain three, double crochet into the next double crochet stitch, chain three, and single crochet into that third chain. You're going to repeat that all the way across where you will end with a double crochet into the third chain of your starting chain. So when you come to the end, chain three into the third chain, one, two, three, work your final double crochet stitch. And that's it to all there is to working the lacette stitch pattern. From now on, you're simply going to repeat your rows two and your rows three. So your row two started with your chain eight and then one across, double crocheted, chain five, double crocheted, and the double crochet and so forth. And then the row three, which we just worked. Work it for as long as you would like and then fasten off and weave in your ends and it's uh, your project's complete. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you on uh, next Sunday for a new stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.